Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you notice, again, I changed the name, but oh well, that's me. I want to, I do it, it's my channel. Um, thank you everyone for subscribing and for new subscribers. I want to do a shout out to Gracie Diamond World. Gracie, thank you so much for helping me reach my 400 subscribers. I will put Gracie's link down below in the description box for every, anyone who wants to pop in and check her out. She is fantastic. Thank you so much to... Uh, crafty chef diamond she's my bestie to give shout outs for me in her channel i will put her link down below in the description box as well and thank you so much for stacy sweetie beauty craft stacy is my second babe girl and i'm gonna put uh, her link in the description box down below as well all of these three ladies have a youtube channel go check them out guys they are fantastic uh, today i'm gonna read for you chapter nine from book David Valiant book The Midnight Gang guys this is the book's name this is the beautiful picture and yeah today we're reading only one chapter chapter nine I decided to read uh, one chapter at a time only if it will be very very short then we'll read two chapters uh, okay i hope you enjoy thank you for everyone who is writing down the comments and who is listening i created for my videos a playlist if you ever want to listen just uh, my reading starting from chapter one please go to my playlist you will find with and read and there will be all chapters in the same if you wanted to watch only unboxings or between chats or post reviews i put everything in the separate folders for you guys to be easier to find whatever you need and whatever you wish to listen so far yes okay thank you for all your likes and comments hope you're gonna enjoy and see you on the end while you're listening you can watch the video as well because i'm gonna do fast motion diamond painting guys okay see you on the end enjoy chapter nine b for basement Passing down the brightly lit corridor outside the children's ward, it suddenly occurred to Tom that he had absolutely no idea where he was going. His new friend Sally had delayed him some hat, and now the other three children were long gone. What's more, Lord Fun Hospital was a spooky place after dark. Distant sounds echoed down the long corridors. The building was tall and wide. There were 44 floors of wards and operating rooms. There was everything from rooms for delivering babies to a mortuary where people were taken after they died. The hospital was home to hundreds of patients and nearly as many staff. At midnight, all the patients should be fast asleep, but there would be still be night staff, including cleaners and security guards, rooming the corridors. If Tom was discovered out of his bed, he would be in a big trouble. What's more, he was wearing a pink, freely nightdress. If anyone was to see him, he would have some serious, serious explaining to do. Tom looked to the di direction signs on the wall, which weren't much help as letters had fallen off. Entrance and exit had become N, it. Acid, accident and emergency was now Cider R. Reception read simply P-O. Surgery now read Su E R. Radiology had become Rad Log, whatever that was. Administration was now Min T. Theater was Heat. Children's Ward read simply War, which might not be such a bad description of what it was like in there. Rehabilitation had changed into Hab It On. Psychotherapy had become H O T Heap. X ray had become simply Ray. So if you were looking for a man called Ray, all you had to do was follow the arrow. <laughs> there was a sign that read F S, which Tom guessed was must have been left. At some distant point in the hospital passed, and so he followed the arrow. When he reached the lift, Tom noticed that the arrow above the large metal shiny doors was descending rapidly. He guessed it might be the three children traveling down. 
The boy watched as the arrow swung all the way down to B for basement. Tom gulped. It was bound to be dark in the basement. And Tom hated the dark. What is more, the thought of bumping into the porter flashed through his mind. What if Tom felt a hand on his shoulder to stop him? And when he looked around, it was terrifying-looking men scaring, staring back at him. For a moment, the boy felt like turning back and then realized that Sally might think he was a scary cat. So, with some hesit hesitation, he pushed the button and waited nervously for the lift to come. Ping! The door opened. Ping! The door closed. With his fingers trembling, Tom pushed B for basement. And the lift trundled down to the darkest depth depths of the hospital. With a jolt, the lift stopped. Ping! The doors opened and Tom stepped out into the darkness. The boy was now alone in the basement of Lord Fund Hospital. His bare feet felt the cold, wet concrete beneath him. Above him on the ceiling was stripped of, of fluorescent lights. Thought most had blown, meaning it was all pitch black down here. Ping! Tom just jumped. It was just the lift doors closing after him. The sound of water dripping from pipes echoed along the corridor ahead of him. Slowly, Tom made his way along it. When he came to the end, there were four corridors, two to the left and two to the right. It was a maze da down here. The boy looked to see if he could make out any wheelchair tracks on the floor. It was hard to see anything with so little light, so Tom bent down to study the floor. At that moment, a creature brushed past his face. Arr! He screamed, echoed down the corridor. At first, Tom thought it might have been a rat, but he could just see the creatures hopping off. It looked more like a bird, but if it was a bird, what was it doing all the way down? What was it doing all the way down here? In the dirt of the floor, Tom could see some tire marks heading down one of the corridors on the right, so he followed them. After a few passes, he could feel the steel air in the basement becoming warmer. Just up to ahead was a giant fur furnace where the hospital waste was being burned. Not far from that, Tom saw a huge basket on wheels. He looked inside. It was full of laundry. Above it was a small hatch. Just then more bed sheets tumbled out of the hatch and fell into the laundry basket. The boy realized that this must be the end of chute leading down from the wards above. Every few passes there were doors and more corridors. Tom followed the tire trucks as they snagged their way through the basement. The trucks led on to a corridor that was pitch black. All the lights in this section of the basement must be broken, thought Tom. The boy hesitated before going forward. His worst fear was the dark. Still, it seemed foolish to turn back now. He might be about to find the other children and uncover their secret midnight adventures. Slowly, Tom tiptoed forward. Soon it was so dark that he could not see his own hand in front of his face. Now he had to group along the damp walls to find his way. Just then, clang! A defending noise echoed down the basement corridor. It sounded like a heavy metal door being shut. Tom wondered who else might be down here with him. The porter? Frozen in fear, the boy stopped dead. He listened and listened and listened. But no, all he could hear was silence. A deep dread all but swallowed him up. Also, he stood still. He felt if he was run, as he was running or falling or drowning. Tom realized that coming down to the basement alone was a terrible mistake. He had to get out of there right now. He began to retrace his steps, but in a panic, he lost his way. Soon he was running with barefoot down 
the corridor, the pink frilly nightdress flopping as he went, out of breath and still feeling woozy from that cricket ball hitting his head. Tom stopped for a moment. Then he felt something grab his shoulder. He turned around. It was a hand. Ah! He screamed. Okay, guys. I go. I hope you did enjoy my reading in chapter nine. Oh, is it exciting? Are you intrigued? Who's touching his shoulder? Who is there? How do you think? Write down in a comment section below. Who grabbed his hand? Who grab his shoulder? What is the hand? From which person? How do you think? Very, very intriguing. Okay, as you can see, I finished this section. I'm working on quite small sections, not making them big. But I hope you did enjoy it. And thank you so much, guys, for listening, watching, and commenting and liking. If you're not subscribed yet, maybe consider to subscribe. That's what I'm gonna do so far on my channel. Read the book diamond paint do the post reviews and unboxing guys hope you enjoy it see you in the next one and don't forget always be happy and healthy no bullying no bullying no bullying but that's for the different time talk uh, thank you for subscribing like i said thank you for liking commenting and we'll put the links down in my description box as well for this diamond painting this diamond painting comes from company palman diamonds it's beautiful 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 painting i'm gonna show you that's what their logo is i will put the discount code as well i have one time purchase discount code for my friends 35 percent off only one time purchase but it doesn't matter how many orders you uh, not the orders but how many paintings you pay uh, buy at the same time but this is the peak of what i'm working on at the moment i write it down at home the date when I started it on it it's 80 by 60 and it has 40 colors beautiful painting very easy to work this is my second painting from them this one is round first painting was square amazing go and check them out as well link will be in the description box down below guys and uh, yeah I have a coffee account as well if you wish to buy me some coffee that money is gonna go or for some new diamond painting or for some new book who knows uh, but all that money will be put in the channel anyways okay guys thank you so much for watching I know my hands are coming from the side but that's what you get when you see me diamond painting okay guys thank you so much and see you next time bye